Okay, this here is my um, my jet engine that I've made. Basically, I've got the um, the hub bit in the middle there, which is connected to the the, the tin on the outside. And then what I've done is I've added this extra shaft here and um, drilled a few holes into the side here, which I'm still balancing at the moment, so that this other piece here. It's part of the um, compressor which will connect to it, I'll screw it in there and then the compressor will go on this side here and then the fans will be going here and there and um, we're putting also some fans on the other side of the hub there or as you can see so there will be fans inside there um, goes there like that. This is the combustion chamber. Basically it's another tin can. Here's another aluminium coke can which I've put in there. And um, I've screwed that, secured that in there. This that part will go over over that part like so. And um, the gas will be going in through um, some holes that I've drove, blanked them off at the moment but um, the gas will be going in I haven't decided which side yet, but there's either these two or these two, depending on where I decide to finish it. And this is the exhaust bit. Again, just a simple tin can. I cut all these sides here, cut them all down, and then um, I got a that was soda can. I think, a, I think this is a Tango. Yeah, is it? Yeah, it's a Tango. See? Oh yeah, yeah, it's a Tango. All I did is just put some black marker on there just to make it look nice and neat and then that bit will go in there like that and then that will basically go over the end there and all of this will like connect all together I'll just leave it like that you basically can see what happened here I made this all by hand using bits and pieces I found around the house also I got this this is from a bicycle, the middle hub bit that you need. So I used the spokes and I bent them round and I connected it to the tin just so that under pressure this bit can move and flex about so that it doesn't break. I've also designed weak points in it so that if the pressure is too much or if it's going to go that it will break first. There will be weak points along here and along there so that will detonate first if it does blow up. I've also made these as well. These are the air compressor wheels. Well, to be honest, I don't even know what they're actually called, but this, what I've done there is I've, oops, I've bent, cut the metal in between the grooves here and just bent them back. I tested it all already and it works brilliantly. I'm actually quite shocked that that is working. I did the same thing for this one. This is a smaller wheel to get a bit more compression going on. And I am. Um, I tested this one as well and this is working, they, these two they go together, they're working fine. Them I just simply made from just old tin lids, I've got a few more here that I've got to make. I've got this bit which I'm going to use as a cover, it's just a bottle of a coke can, just simple as that. And I've also got on the, um, the compressor, made a cone bit, again just made from a a tin tango can and I lashed it together and then what that, that bit basically with the other part will go over this and it there's a nut that connects that to there and that's pretty much it I'll um, upload the video as soon as I get it working and once it's working I'll be, everybody will be able to see it work Hopefully it won't blow up, but I am very proud of it. It's taken me uh, about four or five months, maybe longer to get to this point here. So hopefully by the end of the year I'll have this thing firing and I will report back straight away. Thank you for listening. This has been a Dwayne Sinclair production.